Sagittarius and welcome to your December 2015 tarot reading. Um, this month I am using uh, some aquamarine crystals in the reading. If you can see here there are four um, beautifully tumbled aquamarine stones on the top of each card. So aquamarine is a variety of the beryl family and beryl is symbolic for um, December, the end of November through December. So that is Sagittarius, and um, which is you, and uh, so it's very fitting for your reading in particular. In particular, and um, it is also symbolic for uh, balance, moderation, and clarity. So I am definitely um, resonating with that energy throughout this reading. Um, and if you are interested in learning more about aquamarine, I have made a video that explains um, the uses and purposes of using aquamarine, and I will link the video in the description below. Um, I have also made a couple other videos about different crystals, so uh, be sure to check those out. Okay, so laid before you is your monthly spread. Each card is symbolic for each week of the month. And for this month, I have used my chrysalis deck. This is what the back of the card looks like. This card gives me feelings of balance and clarity, so I thought it was very fitting to use this deck for this month. It is more of a New Age deck, so um, the names are a little different and you may not recognize them, but I will explain in detail what the names mean as I go along with um, the interpretation. So for now, I'll just tell you what your cards are and then I will go back. So for the first week, you have Gaia and then the Four of Stones for your second week. The third week is the Eight of Mirrors in reverse. And the last week is the Nine of Scrolls. Okay, so for the first week with Gaia, this is the Empress. The Empress is the Mother Archetype card. It's, it's the Divine Feminine Energy that promotes creativity, fertility, and nurturing. So um, this week your mother may be in town. Um, you may become a mother. Um, you may just be getting more in touch with your feminine side, um, either through a new relationship or um, some new uh, changes in your lifestyle. Either way, this first week is a great time to give and receive love. You may, um, you may have children around you, you may have your own children around you, you may have nieces or nephews or friends' children around you, and you may find yourself in that mothering role or in that nurturing role if you're a man. Um, and and I don't see it as a negative thing. I think that you're going to enjoy this role for the first week. For the second week, you have the Four of Stones. The Four of Stones is um, the same thing as the Four of Pentacles. So this is this is the the status quo card. This is you trying to keep up with the Joneses. Um, you may be having feelings of insecurity this week, you know, like usually it has to deal with finances. So you may be thinking, you know, is my car fancy enough? You may be wanting a new car. Um, you might be having people over. You might be feeling insecure about what your house looks like. What will so-and-so think of my house? Um, and, and you know, you may be just struggling with spending money in general. Um, this is, December is um, a month of holidays and a lot of people will be gift buying. And you may be trying to, or finding yourself very conscious of um, how much money you are spending. You may be trying to conserve money. Now this may be necessary or it may be unnecessary. I can't really tell I can just, you know, I can see that 
this may be a week where you are kind of worried about how much money you are spending or maybe worried about how much money you can't I mean you may not have enough to do what you want to do and this card you know it may it may not it could have a totally different interpretation this card could also mean that you have you've worked hard and this is the week that you are it's everything's coming to fruition you are successful at obtaining material wealth so um, you may be getting a raise in this in the second week you may be um, getting a holiday bonus in the second week uh, you know it could it could be there's a few different interpretations for this card so I can't say which one it will be for you but um, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be something negative like not having enough money to spend it could be but it doesn't necessarily have to be um, you're definitely wanting to hold on to things and and you know like I said it may be a really good thing where you're getting some kind of bonus um, for this month in the second week I hope all that made sense I felt a little rambly there <laughs> okay for the third week you have the eight of mirrors in reverse eight of mirrors is the same as cups so this is you know generally with the eight of cups in the upright position um, it's about needing to move on from a situation that just isn't working for you anymore uh, but when it's in its reverse position it can have a couple different meanings again like the, the previous card this could be you not wanting to move on um, there may be a couple reasons though I mean you may not be you may not be personally seeing the writing on the wall um, maybe all the signs are there and everyone else can see that you're in a bad situation but you are you know in some kind of doubt and um, you can't see clearly what is standing there before you and you are unwilling to move forward uh, this the other you know the other reason for not wanting to move on is you could be you could be satisfied in your current situation and there may be nothing wrong with your current situation you may be very happy and satisfied and um, and you know that just means that you are having a great time socializing with others and having fun so definitely hope it's that latter one <laughs> and this card could just simply mean that you've succeeded at putting a difficult situation behind you already and that this is the time where you're realizing that hey I'm I'm over that bad situation you know I've been going through it or I've been dealing with it or grieving about it but I think I'm finally over it and now I'm ready to move on to new things now this fourth card for the last week it, it really it threw me for a loop <laughs> because um, the last thing I want to do is give you a um, a negative outlook for the end of the year but the nine of scrolls um, is it's the same as the nine of swords and it's really it's it's a card that I don't like interpreting um, it's you know it's it's basically a card that um, represents having fears and bad dreams um, staying up late at night worrying about things having you know reliving bad situations um, in your mind the good news about this card is that your worst fears are very unlikely to happen um, and you know all of all of this worrying is really um, because of the aftermath um, or some kind of trauma from uh, previous previous situations so um, this is something that you know you're 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 going to be struggling with 
in the last week, whether it's kept to yourself privately or whether you share it with somebody else. Um, I don't really think that, you know, your your day-to-day -day living is going to be affected by this. I don't think that um, if you're one who celebrates the holidays, I don't think your holidays are going to be bad or anything like that. I just think that there might be a night or two in the last week where you have some things from the past that are coming back um, that are just rolling over in your head and uh, maybe some fears creeping in there. But um, try to keep keep those in perspective and understand that they are just fears. Um, they're unlikely to materialize. So um, that is your reading in its entirety, Sagittarius. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, I do this every month. And if you are interested in a personal reading or consultation with myself, uh, feel free to visit my website. It is linked in the description below, and I will talk to you all next month. Bye-bye.